Welcome back to Naked After Dark. I'm here with Sabrina, who lasted 20 days in Bolivia. They call him the Beast Charmer, veterinarian Dr. Evan Anton, and from Cougar Town, Bid Naked and Afraid fan, my friend, Mr. Josh Hopkins, everybody. <laughs> All right, so this is a sloth. This is, this and is a two-toed I've been sloth. told that not to get too close because they can get a little dangerous, but there you are playing with its long nails. Yeah, we're, so. we're keeping our distance here, yeah. Now, these guys have a pretty fierce bite. And they so do. that'd be the reason to kind of to, to, to not get too close to her. But luckily, these captive guys are a little a little more handleable. Hi, Sudi. Tell, tell me a little something about this sloth. Like, uh, what does it eat? These guys are mostly herbivores, and so they're eating a lot of foliage, leaves, things like that. Some fruits, some nuts, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, little berries, and every once in a while, like a lizard or a small bird or small rodent, but mostly herbivores. Josh, how long would you last uh, naked and afraid in Bolivia? You could do the show live. <laughs> <laughs> End of the hour. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and tell me something like, what, what's, why I, I saw in the uh, TV show they're a different color. How come this one's whitish brown? The other one's kind of green. Yeah, I know. In, in the wild, so they are green because they actually have a lot of other things growing on them. And they're so slow moving and with such a slow metabolism. It's asleep right now. Yeah, I, and these guys are, you know, they're nocturnal too, so all these lights are gonna, gonna keep her nice and relaxed. But the, the green is from a combination of bacteria and fungus and algae that grows on her back. And it's kind of a symbiotic relation they have, uh, relationship that they have. And that green is gonna keep her nice and camouflaged in the trees. So things grow on its back. Yeah, not and only camouflage. Exactly, not, you know, not only the fungus and algae, but actually, uh, you know, roaches and cricket, or sorry, uh, 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 moths will live and grow in there. It's kind of like its own little ecosystem in, in the fur, in the back of this animal. It's pretty cool, yeah. That's absolutely disgusting, actually, is what that is. <laughs> Sabrina, did you see any of those when you? I did not see any sloths out there. It's the camouflage, that's what I'm talking about. I <laughs> am so impressed. I wish I could sleep like that. That would be amazing, just hanging upside down. Yeah.